हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रोटो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट डीएफटी सिस्टम ऑफ द हाइड्रोपोनिक वी आर आल्सो गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस सिस्टम एंड हाउ टू ऑपरेट दिस सिस्टम एंड इन द एंड वी आर गोइंग आल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम ऑफ द बेनिफिट्स एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ दिस सिस्टम ऑल दैट इंफॉर्मेशन आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू टुडे इन दिस वीडियो सो टू नो एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल Please stay connected to the video till the end. So let us start this video. So friends, this is what you can see is my DFT system, which I have built into the eight-hour form. Now you can build this system either vertically up or horizontally also. But I have specifically maintained this system into a form to maximize the use of the solar light. Now I will explain you. how you can maximize the solar light use but for that i will explain the distance i have maintained for this pipe now let me tell you the first i have used this 4 inch pipe so 4 inch pipe is the most suitable pipe for this dft system now i have maintained the distance from one pipe to second pipe center is around 11 to 12 inch so let us say it is 1 foot in diagonal and vertically it is around 11 inch so from top of the pipe to the next pipe bottom of the pipe is around 7 inch so 7 inch distance in a vertical direction and if you see the center distance of this pipe and this pipe having a 4 inch distance so each plant is 4 inch away from the top center line so this is how it will get 7 to 8 inch in height and 8 inch 4 inch this side 4 inch this side 8 inch into all the direction and any leafy crop will survive in this 8 by 8 inch distance now we'll talk about the whole distance so considering 8 by 8 distance of width and length we have again can put the holes at the 8 inch distance so in all direction the plant will get 8 inch on all the side and this is a very good distance for the leafy crop now this system can accommodate many type of plants if you want to accommodate big size of plant then simply you can do the alternate planting and keep one hole between empty and put it into zigzag manner and this way you can also grow a big plant also into this system now what type of plants you can grow into this system so as i explain you the leafy this system is most suitable for the leafy like the nft system but we can also grow some of the fruity vegetable plants like here i have grown the chili and you can see just see the growth of the chili plant it is almost 2 and 1/2 to 3 feet into the height so you can grow chili you can grow brinjal you can grow cabbage cauliflower broccoli you can grow tomato with some trellising and you can also grow cucumber and everything with the trellising so this system is much much flexible than the nft system in terms of growing the plants now what are the advantage of this dft system but first we understand the how the dft system works so if you see this system here is a pipe 4 inch into size you can go for higher size of the pipe or lower size of the pipe also but here we have to maintain the water at the half way mark so that is how the plant root always having access to the water even in the case of the electricity failure the half level of the water is maintained so the 50% of the root are always into the water and what the plant will never face the stress of the water yes the root into air is less so the plant growth may not be so vigorous as into the nft system but that is the minor disadvantage against the advantage of the survival of the plant in case of failure the second the water cycle how to manage the water cycle now you can see that this is the pipeline i have made the 8 hour with the retaining back line now we have here you can see one bucket is over here where we store the nutrient water then we have a pump inside that pump will lift the water into the pipes this is the same system as this so those pipes are running all over and from those pipe we have taken out like 4 mm outlet pipe and put it into this pipeline this will supply the water to the system when water is supply continuously to system water will go at the back turn back 
coming back and here again the water collection pipe over here which we have kept at the halfway mark so water will be filled at the half le level and whatever excess water is there will be overflow into the bucket again so this is the recirculating type of system where we continuously flow the water into the pipe and overflow collecting back into the tank so all the nutrition we need to maintain into this tank to the level to maximize our plant growth now here we have to regularly monitor the ph and the tds ph will maintain the condition of the nutrient and tds will maintain the nourishment to the plant so because of the high density of the plant we need to daily update or regularly update this ph and tds to have a healthy growth of plant into this system now this is the simple system what we can introduce into our home gardens but the only biggest disadvantage of this system that any infection by chance get into our plant in the root zone will immediately spread to whole of the system and that will sometime cause damage to all our plants so it is a risky system in terms of disease but that's a simple way we can control this by putting this system into the protected environment in open it is a risky system but in the enclosed environment it is a less risky system second now correction is also we can do quickly with the altering the formulation and giving the medicine to the formulation so this is a system where the we need to quickly respond to the any failure the major advantage of this system is in case of power failure because the half of the roots are in water and half are on the top in the power failure case even if the supply of water is stopped for the 3 4 hours the plant will continuously getting nutrition from the bottom and it will survive yes growth may impact but the plant will survive and as soon as the circulation restart they will again get the nutrition and start growing now the sowing into this system is very simple first we need to maintain the water to the half level then we are using this cups for growing and with some media or with some sponge we can support the plant and just put the plant into the holes the bottom of the net cup will touching to the water which will give access roots to the water and the plant will grow this is all we need to do for sowing into this system so it's a very simple system to grow and with the advantage of the taking lightly care against the fluctuation of the power and fluctuation of the nutrition so how do you like the dft system of hydroponic for growing your greens on some vegetables write me back into the comment box so you can also make one for your own keeping in mind whatever principle i have explained to you so make one hydroponic dft system for you and grow good leafy vegetables for your consumption happy growing